All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, I'm give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rachachrash, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim, Wakwatim, learning and teaching uh, in truth and sincerity. All right, and I got this uh, picture up. <laughs> it's going to make some uh, devils mad. The fuck them. All right, hang on. Actually, I just uh, pulled it up right here, you know, to get a better look at it. You have Esau, the so-called white man, a certain devils uh, in an uproar because of, a, you know, a fake, non-real, non-existent uh, video game character uh, story ending in Mortal Kombat 11. All right. Which basically this just shows you that Esau, the so-called white man, this further proves how much that he hates you Israelites. We can't even have a fictional world. We can't even in our own imaginations, you know, have our own imagination where we're just doing what we do. No, we're just supposed to be slave boys, work in McDonald's, work at Papa John's, all right, uh, pick up the garbage out of their football stadiums. This is what they want and expect of you. They don't want you to remember your past, to remember who you are, and to hope and to uh, strive for a better future for your people. And any of you Israelites that are still loving this devil in the year 2019, you're going to be destroyed, be destroyed uh, with them here soon by the Heavenly Father upon his son's return. All right. You know, when you go into it, you know, hey, the elder Malcolm, uh, he, you know, he did the video on it and there's there's already articles up. There's even other devils saying how basically anyone that had a problem with it, there's something wrong with you. All right. This is a fake. Let me see, because I was reading this article. Let's see. This is it says uh, Jax uses his what if scenario to go back in time and prevent slavery. This is exactly the sort of situation I would expect to encounter in one of Mortal Kombat's non-canon hypothetical character endings. It's a gigantic and loaded decision, but come on, this is a game where people punch each other's uh, heads off. Let's see. So, you know, basically, this person, he's saying there's nothing wrong with it. All right, it's logical. <laughs> Here it is, you're a descendant of a slave. You have the ability to go in time and change anything. Oh, you know what, man, I'm just going to go back two years to get me a good ice cream. I wanted to go get that ice cream. This is this should show you the amount of hatred that the devil has for you Israelites. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. People are saying how it's black power and reverse racism. Keep in mind that, you know, when you actually watch the little clip, he didn't say anything about killing white people. He didn't say anything about killing anyone. And he said it's a better place for all people. All right. But you devils don't want to hear that. Especially in the gaming community. Them devils is racist. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I used to play a lot of online video games, you know, some years back. They're quick to call you a nigger or some sort of slur. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. There's a certain... uh. Okay, Khan. Now here it is. Uh, there's no mention of black power. Let me highlight it. Uh, there's no indication that, as one YouTuber video suggests, developer uh, Netherrealm Studios is promoting white genocide. There's no evidence that Jack only stopped the transatlantic slave trade from happening, uh, despite it spurring his decision. All right. So there's nothing that even says that. You know, he went and slayed Esau, in which we know that, you know, that's what's going to happen here soon. Hey, psh, says the actual actions of Jack took, uh, the actual actions Jack took and the implications are hard to envision. But it is really, but is it really far-fetched to imagine a black man or anyone else really given the power to rewrite time would use it to write one of the history, one of history's greatest wrongs and course, uh, correct a human failing that caused so much pain and strife over the centuries con so is it is it really that big of an issue esau you so-called white people you devils we're just supposed to be okay with being a we're just supposed to be okay with everything that happened to us no all right there's nothing wrong about it matter of fact that's holy and that's righteous and you devils are only mad because you know you're guilty all right you don't want to remember any of that you want it all to go away and to be swept under a rug so you can continue to rule and destroy the whole world, but that's not going to happen. All right, you will be reminded of what you did, and you will pay for what you did. All right, this is a uh, Sirach chapter. Uh, 
God damn it. Sirach chapter 41 in verse uh, 5, Sirach. All right, Sirach 41 and 5, it says, The children of sinners are abominable children, and they are conversant in the dwelling of the ungodly. The inheritance of sinners' children shall perish, and their uh, posterity shall have a perpetual reproach. And that's what we are. That, that's what we are. That's the state that we're in. You devils, you're mad about what your uh, forefathers did. You don't want it to be brought up in conversation. You want to forget about it, and you want us to forget about it. But it's becoming your reproach. It's your mark and your shame. For what you did to the Israelites for no real reason. It says the children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. All right. And you're being reproached. Why? Because you know that some sort of retribution is going to have to come. Uh, let me get this. Because when you do wrong and you don't get punished for it, eventually you start looking around. Man, I know something's going to happen. Man, I know something's going to happen to me. Hebrews 10 and 27. But a certain fearful, oh no, I'm going to start at 26. For if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. And you Edomites, you're scared of this. This actually horrifies you. And this is what the reality of the situation is going to be. The Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are promised to dwell and rule for eternity. All right, at the end of this world. And for that to happen, you guys' kingdom is going to have to fall. All right, yes, Wakanda is going to happen. All right, and it's not going to be in Africa. It's going to be in Israel because we're the Israelites. The Israelite man will be restored to power, and the Israelite woman will be back uh, in her proper position. And our true God, uh, Yahweh, all right, the Heavenly Father, will receive his glory as his son, Yahweh Shah. The reality that you fear is coming quickly upon you. That's why you're looking around. Whenever you see, oh no, you got to be a lathis. You can't, you can't do No, you're not going to stop this truth. You're going to be punished for what you did to us. All right. You will be punished for what you did to us. Like it or not, believe it or not. It's just, you just have to deal with it. We had to deal with it. We weren't exempt. How are you devils going to be exempt? And you're not the Lord's chosen. Are we not the Lord's chosen people? So we're not, hey, he's going to redeem us and restore us. This is this is a fearful image to you devils. Hey, and you know what? Hey, this gave me a garment idea in the kingdom of Lord willing. I completely forgot. We going have half have half my chest out, baby. All right. What uh and I think one of his one is his wife and one is his daughter. Only difference, you know, our women are going to be uh going to have their heads covered. But this is how we're going to be. You know, actually enjoying this planet in righteousness. It's going to be a Better place for everyone, even you damn heathens. We're going to have have you as slaves, but we're going to treat you properly. We're not going to be doing you how Esau does you. All right. Our children will be safe. You're not going to have to worry about someone raping your fucking four-year-old child like you do in this society. You goddamn devils. You have all this issue with what we say and what we do. Here it is under your rulership. Someone's four-year-old child could get kidnapped and molested to the point of death. What do you all have to say about that? Or is that all our fault? All right, as well, the Israelites. Everything is a, a black man or a Latino Latino's fault. If a crime get gets committed, we fucking did it. All right? You devils are going to have to drink. You better drink the fucking coffee. God damn it. Uh, let me get a... Uh, let me get this real quick. Con, Jeremiah 49 and 12 says, For thus saith the Lord, power, behold... They whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken. This meaning what? The Hebrew Israelites, they weren't originally meant to, you know, fall and be destroyed. We're the Lord's chosen people. We were meant to rule forever. So we weren't originally meant to drink of the cup of judgment, which represents what? Being destroyed, going down, losing everything. It says, And art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished? Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. You devils that are over us. All right. And to prove it. You look up at verse 48, 48, it says, but I have made Esau bare and I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not. And that's a hey, through the spirit. This is talking about you, Esau, the so-called white man. You're the ones that spoiled us. You're the ones who thought you're going to be living perfect. You're not the Lord's chosen people. We are. And you touched us. So what's going to happen to you? All right. We're going to jack you. God damn it. <laughs> 
Since y'all so hey, I'm gonna start. We going we gonna jack you. J we gonna jack you. All right, verse thirteen. For I have sworn by myself, saith the Lord, that Basra shall become a desolation, a reproach, a waste, and a curse, and all the cities thereof shall be perpetual waste. So you devils are set to fall, and that is what you fear uh, the most. That is what you fear. That's why you can't stand to see that. That's why you don't want us in our mind in our correct mindset, because the day we stand up is the day that your feet get up off our backs and you will fall and you're going to fall hard. All right. Zechariah 2 and 8 says, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory, uh, yep, after the glory hath he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that touches you touches the apple of his eye. Hey, for behold, I will shake mine hand upon them and they shall be a spoil uh, to their servants. And you shall know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me. So you heathens, not only you so-called white man, you ones that are ruling over us, you're going to be our spoil. You touched the apple of the Lord's eye, which is figurative for what? You took something that he cared about. All right. We were in the center of his eye. We we're the ones that he cared about. And you came and you messed with us. Messed with us. That's not going to go unpunished. That's why you devils are mad. You have that uh, that uh, fear of so-called black retribution. Because you know that you did us wrong and that you did us dirty. I'm started Isaiah 14 and 1, I'll probably uh, end it. It says, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. All right. So Israel is going to come back together, Northern Kingdom and Southern Kingdom, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives. Whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. And that's what's going to happen. We're going to rule over you, devil, because of what you did to us. So your worst nightmare is effectively coming true right before your eyes. We're already, uh, literally, you have certain uh, heathen women, you know, specifically Edomite women who are getting tattoos of the Ace of Spade uh, on their bodies, which is a code for that they basically worship uh, black men, all right? You know, they could, it's uh, the queen of spades. Because what, uh, insult to Negroes back then used to be called a spade. Mean basically uh, terming our skin, calling us black. Now you have Edomite women getting spade tattoos on them, showing that what, their property of us, the Israelite man. You have things known as black breeding. All right, the Israelite man is coming back into style in a major way. Why? Because we're about to take full reign of this world again through our uh, Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, through our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and through His Son, Yahweh Shai. So be scared, Esau, uh, the so-called white man. You should fear. You racist devils. We've done nothing to you. We, you sanctioned us to the ghettos. All right, You set up this whole system in which where we depend on you. And then the things that we do, you blame it on us if it happens. When you created the environment and you gave us the tools to do so. You, imagine giving a baby a pistol, a grenade, a uh, and setting him inside of a tank. And you and when he blows something up, when he sets the grenade off, and when he shoots some bullets, you punish him. You handed him all those things, and you placed him in that environment, in and of itself. And that's what you devils have done to us. A. But we're going to rise up out of this low estate, and we're going to make this uh, a world in which you're the ones at the bottom, and we're the ones on top. So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim. For Chachorash, the honors to the apostles, and those great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the Akim, Wakwatim, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.